Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. Happy holidays to all of you. So today we are going to be giving several different ideas for the holidays, whether your family is wine drinkers, sparkling wine drinkers, bourbon drinkers, tequila drinkers, we will cover it all. All the drinkers. <laughs> all of them. So let's start with my cocktail today. Um, I will be using the Governor's Cuvée Stamper. They are out of Lodi, California. It's actually a really fun bubbly and it is rather inexpensive as well. It's twisted and it should come off very, very slow in your hand and release almost no noise. So now that we have our sparkling wine open, we are going to take some cranberry puree we're going to put our sparkling wine in there. Usually I would have a squeeze bottle and I'd be putting it in there that way. But this is just fine as well. So we made the cranberry puree with our simple syrup. And that's the that's just left from the, from the syrup, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so the reason that this is in a coupe glass versus a champagne flute is because it gives off a lot more aromatics. This is a bit heavier of a sparkling wine. So it's more full in body and you're able to get a lot more aromatics from it. And this is our cranberry champagne for the holidays. Topped it off so with a little bit of rosemary, rosemary nice. and That's some pretty. cranberries for your garnish. Nice. So, there is one idea for you. Alright, what do you have today? Well, mine is a little bit more coffee-ish. Uh, something that I would anticipate the parents waking up to and having um, uh, fried opening presents. So, um, I pre-made a couple of coffee items. Espresso, coffee, hot chocolate and then we're going to use we're just going to use Evan Williams because that's what we have right now and we're going to use our favorite coffee cup my favorite coffee cup so today uh, we're going to use a full two ounces because it's Christmas morning of our favorite bourbon and then we're also going to use our, our jigger again for uh, the remainder of two ounces of espresso, if you can find it. If not, they'll be your coffee. Two ounces of coffee. And four ounces of hot chocolate. Wow. Three, four. And then, we're going to take a little Godiva, because we need more booze. These things are awesome. Amazon, uh, absolutely incredible pour stops. Measuring your liquor is incredibly helpful. Um, and we're gonna use that ounce and a half of Godiva in that. And then, on the very top of it, we are going to take our cream that we made. Heavy whipping cream with a Snickers bar that we froze and then we grated it and then add that right on the top. That looks ridiculous. All right, so our next cocktails, mine is going to be for your vodka drinkers. So the next cocktail is going to be a spin on a peppermint martini. So we are going to be using peppermint schnapps. And we are going to also be using vanilla Smirnoff and Godiva. It's a white chocolate liqueur. It's probably my favorite white chocolate liqueur. All right, so first we are going to add ice into our shaker. I took the liberty of already pre-rimming my martini glass. With what? With candy canes. Delicious. Okay, so we'll do an ounce and a half of this. This is a larger martini glass, so I'm 
probably gonna put it more snow, let it snow, let it snow. So I did another ounce and a half of vanilla, and I'm going to do a dive. So again, this is a huge martini glass. Bear with me, I am so sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is the drink for your vodka drinkers. And that is going to be a peppermint, vanilla, white chocolate martini. Just enough for grandma. If we wanted to name it something, let's call it a sleigh bell martini. Ooh, there we go. Uh, so my take is a little bit different and it's for the winemakers and we got a little bit uh, not super creative with this but uh, it actually turned out incredibly well. So what we used with it is this um, St. Elizabeth Allspice Graham um, found from the, the pimento tree. Uh, which all spice comes from. Uh, we use our very favorite Lodi of their Fields family uh, winery, and we decided to use their Syrah. It's a little bit bigger, more full body wine. I find it very interesting that we both picked Lodi wines this week. Uh, Lodi rocks. <laughs> if you haven't been out to Lodi, Usually we go to Napa, so I'm kind of surprised that we went to Lodi. Well, we could afford the fields, so we're going to stick with the fields. So uh, what, what we did with this was uh, we took the ground. We dehydrated a bunch of blood oranges and oranges. Um, and they just turned out absolutely beautiful. Um, they're almost like candy. Um, so we took three of these in a very small three ounces of this spice gram and we marinated, not marinated, we, we macerated, I guess that's what you would say, in, uh, for about an hour. Uh, and then. So, how'd you do it? Did you cook it? Or you just let it? Like sit together for an hour. Uh, three of these. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Three ounces of this. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. And let it sit. And then I took a pan that was super hot with uh, nothing in the bottom. It was a dry pan, added in a cup of Syrah and a quarter cup of this St. Elizabeth of uh, Spice Cream. Uh, excuse me. The, so myself would be asking, did you have it on the burner or? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's on, it's on the burner. So we added our St. Elizabeth dram that had been sitting in our, uh, in our, in our dry fruit. Added that, it came out with, yes, it is a pickle jar. And it came out freaking amazing. Nah, nah. This is hot stuff. This is really alcoholic. So how long do you wait to get out your All I do is let it uh, come to uh, a little bit less than boil. So it, it never boiled and never cooked off the alcohol. Gotcha. Uh, so what we decided to do uh, was take one of our smaller pieces of our dry, uh, dry blood orange. That smells so freaking good. And all we're gonna do is float it. Let you guys enjoy it. It is absolutely incredible. I cannot tell you. So if you had to name that cocktail, what would you call it? I would call it Mother Lotusy. That's what I would call it. Tell me what you think. Honestly. Hey, 
So thinking, I thought this wasn't going to be that good. I genuinely, I was not anticipating. The All Spice really, really gets the spot on something. If you didn't have that All Spice, this would be a tragedy. All Spice is kind of crazy when you think about putting it together with wine. But it's like typically families that you know you do your typical herb or your spice blend on the stove before people come over, uh, make your house smell nice. That's what you have.